Hi, I'm Chris from Chris at the Piano and today we're continuing our series on the circle of fifths. On the last episode we finished on B major which had five sharps and I left you with the question what will the first note of the next scale be? Well the fifth note of the scale tells us the first note of the next scale so B we have C sharp then we have D sharp then we have E, which is not a sharp. Then we have F sharp. So the first note of the next scale is F sharp. And we'll be writing F sharp major. So let's put that one onto the board and we'll add the sharp sign straight away. We've discussed in previous videos that as we go up, we have one of every note and then we repeat the F sharp at the top. So we want F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and that one was the sharp. Now the F sharp that we have here is the first sharp that we started with all the way back around the circle at G major. As we came around, we added a sharp. So from F sharp, we added C sharp. Let's do that one next. Then after C sharp, we added the G sharp. So we'll put that one in there. After the G sharp, we added a D sharp. So that one goes up there. And then on B major, we added the new sharp, which was A sharp, the seventh note. There we go. So that's all the sharps we've carried forward from previous scales that we've looked at in this series. Let's put F sharp on the bottom here. I'm going to put it down here and it will make sense as we do the flats as to why it's down here. And we will put all our sharps in. So we have F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, a sharp. And in a previous video, we said the seventh note is our new sharp. So the seventh note of F sharp, as you can see, is E. So our new sharp is E sharp. Let's put that one in here. And that gives us a total of six sharps to this scale. Our semitones are between three and four and seven and eight. And we know that again from previous episodes. So if you haven't watched the previous episodes, please do so. Now we need to check our semitones. A sharp to B should be a semitone. Well, A sharp is the same as B flat. Going to B is definitely a semitone. And E sharp to F, well, E sharp is one of those enharmonics that is a white note, so E sharp is actually F. So F goes to F sharp, and that produces our scale. So the only natural we have is B natural. Let's have a listen. F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B natural, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, and F sharp. As always, it's important to write these scales, but it's also important to play them. Play them on your own instrument, whatever that may be, but try and play them on a keyboard as well. It could be a piano, a keyboard, an organ, or even an app on your phone. If you don't know the fingering for F sharp major, which is a little bit interesting, and if you need any help with it, book a lesson, the details are down below, you can just use one finger to play the notes because you need to see the pattern that the notes make on the keyboard. And if you look at all the scales one after the other, you will see the pattern build up. So F sharp major, that's our first scale. Now the next scale in the circle, what's it going to be? One, two, three, four, five, C sharp. Our next scale is going to start on C sharp and it's going to be C sharp major. So let's put that onto our circle. Again, I'm going to put it at the bottom and it will make sense when we've done the flats. So we're going to have all the sharps we had before, F sharp, C sharp, 
G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp. And the new sharp is the seventh note of C sharp major. So the seventh note is the one before C, which is B. B sharp. So let's draw that onto the stave. C sharp. We'll put our D, E, F, G, A, B, and C sharp major ends on C sharp. We'll put all our other sharps in, starting from the one we got in G major, which was F. The C sharp, which came from D major, is already in there. Then A major, we got the G sharp. E major, we got the D sharp. There's D, there we go. B major, we got the A sharp. F sharp major is where we got the E sharp from. That's this one up here. So we'll pop that in there. And the only natural that we had left is the new sharp, which is B sharp. So in C sharp major, as you can see, we have all seven sharps in place. Now, when you play that on the keyboard, that does not mean that they're all black notes. It means that they're all sharps. So the scale of C that we had, has everything has gone up one semitone. So C has gone up to C sharp, D has gone up to D sharp, E has gone to E sharp, F has gone to F sharp, G has gone to G sharp, A has gone to A sharp, B has gone to B sharp, and B sharp has gone to C sharp. So it's like you picked the whole scale up and moved it up one half step. Our semitones are still in the same place. One, two, three, four. E sharp to F sharp. That's our first semitone. And our second semitone is B sharp to C sharp which is there, B sharp to C sharp. When we have these white notes in the scale, the enharmonics that are actually sharps, don't be tempted to call them by, or B sharp, well that's C, so C to C sharp is a semitone, because it's not C, it's B sharp, because you have to have one of every note. You can't have three Cs, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, C, C sharp, can't be done because you wouldn't have a B in the scale. You need to have the B sharp and the E sharp because you need one of every note. So however tempting it is, please start to try and think of the white notes as their sharps and respective flats, which will come about in the future videos. Um, I hope that all makes sense. These two are the hardest ones in the sharps to take on board. If you do need any extra help with it, do book a lesson with me. We can do lessons on Zoom or on Skype or on WhatsApp, Messenger, whatever, um, whichever platform you prefer. There is a worksheet on my website, which is this one that you can download. It's got all the details here that we've spoken of and your circle as we have completed so far. On the back are some comprehension questions to make sure that you understand it. And then we have F sharp major on this side and C sharp major on here to write out in the treble, the bass, the alto and the tenor clef with accidentals just like I've done on the board here. If you need any extra help as I say do leave a message in the comments below or if you'd like a half hour lesson the details on how to book a lesson are also below in the comments. We've now completed the sharps of the circle of fifths. So the fifth note becoming the first note of the next scale and the seventh note being the new sharp is now complete. The next session will be C major again and we'll start going round this way on the clock, anti-clockwise, and we will get to the next one after C. There are some clues on how to do it and flats are in the end as easy as sharps. Do join me on the next one. Thank you for joining me today. If this series is helpful for you, please do like and subscribe and check out our website for all the different worksheets. Thank you for joining me. See you next time. Bye for now.